doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures. We have completed basic JavaScript. You can find all 113 of these lessons on my channel. And we are now moving into ES6 on challenge 11 of 29. And we are going to use the structuring assignment to assign variables from nested objects. So we just did this same thing with just standard objects. And now we're gonna do this with nested objects, okay? So definitely check out these last two uh, use the structuring videos that I've done. If you haven't gotten through these or you, you don't understand what's going on, definitely check those out because uh, like everything, but specifically in code, uh, everything will build on itself and gain in complexity. So we really need to understand what we did in these two challenges to complete this next one. Okay, so all we're going to do today is replace the two assignments with the equivalent destructuring assignment. It should still assign the variables low today and high today to the values of today.low and uh, today.high from local forecast. So we wanna access today, low and high, and uh, assign those to these low today and high today variables. Uh, the only thing is we are going to use this, de this nested destructuring um, syntax. So you can see um, we're accessing, we have this user object, it's a nested object. We have a John Doe object within it, and then the John Doe age and email. And uh, if we wanted to extract and assign the values of, for example, this age or email, we can do it the same way we've done it before um, with destructuring and assigning variables with objects. We just do the exact same thing with each of these nested key value pairs, okay? So quite literally, this is the exact same syntax as before. As you can see though, we do have uh, a nested object within it, but even with that, we can still see that we're assigning the age to user age variable and the email to this user email variable here. Okay, so this, these are the two variables that we get out of this destructuring, which equate to these two values, the age and the email values. Uh, of the user, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing with this local forecast and get this these today values out. So all of this, we don't even need. Let's just erase this to make it easier. And we're gonna, again, just do the same syntax. So let's just say const object equals, and then we're, we know we're gonna be destructuring this local forecast object. So let's set that this destructured, uh, let's set up this destructuring to access local forecast like so and now we're pulling nothing out of local forecast but all we have to do is access local forecast and then we want this today low and high value so let's go into local forecast and we can say today so now we're within the today object uh, missing a colon there so today and now within that we want the low value to be set to if we look over here low today. So grab the low value, assign it to the variable of low today. And then we need a second one. We also need the high and assign that to high today, as we can see here. So we're going to do the same thing. High, because high exists within this today. So we're in today. As you can see here, we grabbed the low and assigned it to low today. So that has that 64. And now we want to grab the high and assign that to Hi, today. Now, as you can see, I'm just gonna space this out a little bit so it's easier to read. This is quite literally, this line, the same syntax as this, the same syntax as the last challenge. As you can see, we did have to just enter another object within this. And maybe, for example, if this high was another object, we would have to access like another one here and then say, okay, uh, example. And then we wanna grab that example variable and now we could access it that way so as you can see it's the same thing the same destructuring syntax when you're grabbing nested you just destructure the same way the object is nested right so we went into local forecast we went into local forecast we went into today we went into today and now we're grabbing the low and the high the low and the high and then let's just remove this to make it less confusing send that to high today like so and now we have these variables that we destructured out of local forecast and can access directly. So now we can say console log low today. Let's just log high today as well. 
Now you can see we have the two values that we wanted and our destructuring was successful. So boom, that's all we had to do for that one. Hope that helped, hope that made sense, and I'll see you guys in the next challenge.